Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to plot a good bar graph using Python. Alright, so I'll be using a couple third-party libraries. I'll be using two third-party libraries. One is the Pandas library, and the other one is the Matplotlib library. Alright, so let's take a look at the graph that we'll be creating in this exercise. So here's my graph. And from this chart, my x-axis labels are my videos. So here, let me give you a quick look at the uh, raw data set. So here's our raw data set. And it's a pretty basic data set. So in column A, we have the video title. In column B, I have the quarters that are tied to the period. In column C is the revenue, which representing kind of like the how much a video makes for that period of time. And if we look at the graph, so we have a different bar color representing different quarter. And so the best way to demonstrate how we can create this uh, good bar graph is to Excel first. So here, let's take a look. So here's our uh, data set. If we simply try to use this uh, layout to grab our chart, and this is what the chart is going to look like. So you can see that, oops, here, let me go back. So this graph spread out each quarter per video. And this is not what we want. So we need to basically uh, organize the data a little bit to look like this. Here, let me move to the correct uh, table format. All right, so the way how we want to uh, present in the table format is we need to have the quarters on the top and the video title is going to be our index. In this case, will be our x-axis label. Inside the table, we have our uh, data points. Now let's go to our Python uh, script. So I'm going to start by importing the uh, libraries. So I import the pandas library, as pd. Let me make the font a little bigger. And of course, we need to import the matplotlib library to plot the uh, data. Now I'll import my uh, data set uh, by importing the CSV file. So from the pd library, .csv, and my file name is going to be data.csv. Now let's take a look at the, uh, oops, here let me activate my environment. Now if we print the data set, so we have uh, video title, quarters, and revenue. And to convert this table format to look like this, here let me hide the columns. So to uh, organize the table format to look like this, we need to, we can pivot the, uh, the table. So from the df object dot pivot, I know my index is going to be from the video title column. And my column, oops, should be a uh, parameter. And my column is going to be coming from the quarters uh, column. In my value, it should, should be values. And this should be columns. And my values will be coming from the revenue column. Now if I print the tape, the uh, different object, now I have the correct format. So quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, followed by the video titles. One thing really nice about using a uh, pandas library to perform any uh, plotting uh, type of test is because a uh, matplotlib library is very, very integrated with uh, pandas library. So if we look at the documentation, here let me make the font a little bigger. From pandas data frame object, there's a plot method. And we can use this plot method to basically uh, plot any type of graph based on the data frame uh, layout. Here, let me go back. And based on your use case, so if you want to plot a bar graph, so uh, here's a list of uh, type of graphs that the plot method supports. We can graph a line graph, bar graph, a horizontal bar graph, a histogram, and so on. And the other couple of parameters, which uh, I will provide the documentation link in the description below, which you can uh, 
explore on your own. Now let's go back to the uh, Python script. We know the different object has the plot method. Now I can insert the plot method. I want to graph the uh, data as a bar graph. And here I can insert plot.show to sh display the graph. And this is what the uh, graph looks like right now. It's not very pretty, so we need to do a little bit of uh, cleaning. So first, I want to increase the uh, window size. So I'll set the window size uh, to 15 by 8. Also, uh, insert the x-axis label. And I'll name the label Video Titles. And for the y-axis label, I'll name that as Revenue. We also need to provide a chart title. And let's call the graph video summary. It should revenue summary by quarters. And lastly, we need to move the legend. Uh, let's move the legend to uh, upper right hand corner. So set the location to upper right. And that's it. Now if I graph the chart, we now have a much more clean look bar graph. Alright, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.